man. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are out here over the mountains. We are on the three CTs. Oh, two <laughs> CTs, 125s, and Hutton's on his 300L. And uh, we've been having to wait up for him. Oh, yeah, they're way too uh, fast on them things. I got behind him and I about burnt the brake pads off this thing trying to keep from running over him. What? <laughs> Bad, yeah, I, so. got chili, I got chili cheese uh, beef jerky. Oh my yeah, did you gosh. see that? Look at that, dude. Fritos, chili cheese, beef jerky. <laughs> so me and crap. Kevin, or me and uh, Scott up there, we got these Apache 4800s and mounted them on here. But we actually mounted them to the back, and then actually I have a way for my uh, Nelson Rig 10 liter roll bag with my tools and my tube in there. Spare tube, and then I got the Nelson rig five liter roll bag up here, uh, which works good. It's not even full. I didn't have enough stuff put in, but I can also actually put one another one right here on this rack as a five liter. So pretty cool. And then I could actually strap another Nelson rig bag up here, like one of the big roll bags on top of that if I wanted to. But the case works pretty good. Hard case to carry stuff in. Scotty has the same one. That can fit all. Yeah, it does. Look at all that crap he's got in there. Heck, he brought all First the food. Kit and everything. Oh my gosh, where'd you steal that water at? <laughs> oh my gosh, I told him he could take a water. He took three bottles. <laughs> he was. <laughs> he when we was getting them, he said he thought I said that he that I ain't got enough for him or something. Now he heard free waters. Yeah, free water, not three waters. <laughs> yeah. You got that short little tightening thing, and they're they're pain in the butt. I know. Because they don't hardly fit up there. You can use a screwdriver on it. That's the good part. Yeah, I only have my short ones, I think. I got Dang a screwdriver. Oh, these good... are super grippy. Here, try to take that and turn it. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. I just changed his grips. I haven't yet. Yeah, I thought I wanted to put the tan stuff on here, and I had yeah, these Yeah, that's, that's definitely bands. more grippy than Dad's. Yeah, these are like the soles of a, of oh, a pair of van them, shoes. The ones it's, that come on that CT is hard to rock. It's like it's like the the grip or like the little uh, well, I don't even know what you call it. Yeah, it's almost like they're they're not even rubber. It's like they're hard plastic. Well, these right here, it's like they're not close enough together. If they were more threaded together like that, oh, yeah. because that's what you catch on are those. Right. So I feel like if there's more of them, you'd catch easier. Well, if you were to use those barehanded, they actually hurt your hands. Oh, I wouldn't they're, doubt it. They're so hard. You need to get some like Scotty has. Some of them. Oh, we got a couple Jeeps. Uh, they better are let them go first. Yeah. Better let them go through first. I don't want to run them over in a minute. Exactly. Actually, good thing it recently rained. They're not going to dust us out. Hell yeah. I was going to say we should go first, but. Yeah, good thing it rained. Here comes the truck. Oh, well, good should God. Go? No, it's probably with them. I don't know. It might be with. I don't. It wouldn't yeah, let's it. wait for him and let's, in, in case he's with him, because he uh, could be. A dog. No, he's going hunting. It's kind of like you two having the trail 125s and me having the 300 L. Them two have Jeeps and he has a Chevy. The dog so, doing? Full of hunting dogs. They're gonna get their damn heads smashed in that door. Here we go. I think them two Jeeps dried it up a little bit. Now he's putting off dust. <laughs> yeah, he is, no doubt. If you slow down, you let, him get on, let him go on. <laughs> what the heck? I'm going 12 miles an hour, not even putting in gas, and a big rock just kicked up under my fender. I heard it. Can't keep up with you guys. You're going too fast. I'm old this back here. Fun. This isn't even fun fun around with you guys on these trails. <laughs> It isn't or just is. Run, I'm just running <laughs> neutral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or Scott's in neutral. But you see me going to first gear, baby. <laughs> He'll take off like a rocket ship. At least we didn't have to follow him for long. Supposed to get up to 65 today, but. 
don't feel like it. Well, it showed on mine that the max was like 61 or 62, and that was going to oh. be at like at 2.30 at 3 o'clock, and then that's whenever it's going to start dropping way yeah. back down again. I don't doubt it. What time is it now? 1.38. Yeah, we just have to remember that it's going to take us almost an hour to get back once we get over there, depending right. on if we take the dang road. Yeah. We'll be going not fast on these. Whatever. I was going to say. Reality check. <laughs> We got the speed. Kevin ain't doing a very good job leading and finding the trails. I know. I'm trying to let him pass, but it's <laughs> slow on that thing. It, he's been trying to pass this whole time. He can't catch up. Because <laughs> I ride a wide bike. <laughs> I thought he was just kind of putting and cruising and messing with a thing. For a I, was, I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just going. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just chilling there with him. It's like, I'm the bigger brother. I ain't riding the front. I'm a small baby bike. Yeah, follow my lead, little baby brother. <laughs> On your little baby follow bike. Follow my lead because anything I can do, I know you can do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guarantee you that. I mean, so far on this gravel stuff, it, they handle fine so far. I mean, honestly, I feel like these tires do feel a little bit better than, like, it's, when I'm riding a 300. I don't know why. They would. They the don't stop, have the, the tread. Oh, and also, yeah. I just thought about something, too. This this dual sport is top heavy. Those are low centered, like yeah. a bike should be. It probably helps. Yeah, that's something I was telling Dad. You just feel like you have a lot of control. Oh, way down it low. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. You, you do feel like you got a lot of control on this thing. Yeah, that's probably a big part of it. I mean, you can even see it when I'm riding, Dad. Like, look at it. I mean. Yeah. Even on this, on the gravel and stuff, it feels a lot more comfortable. Right. So it's just kind of, not more, maybe not more comfortable in certain ways, because uh, obviously how rough it is comparatively with the suspension. But uh, as far as the comfortability of like feeling like you're in control of every little movement. Mm -hmm. I like right on this, it ain't too bad at all. I mean, I don't feel like it's too rough riding or nothing. No. I can definitely feel a little, some stuff's a little harsher than the 300L. 300L is softer. My goodness, everybody's hunting today. Yeah. Pig hunting, probably. I don't want hunting. They may be bird hunting. Out here hunting Mexican. One guy said it was quail season, but that may be over. Montezuma quail. Or I shouldn't specifically say Mexican. That sounds racist as hell. I should say hunting illegals. Oh, that one person got on there and said, please don't call them illegals. I'm like, well, if they don't come over legally, I would call that illegal. Just I don't know what I'm talking about, maybe, but seem to me like it'd be illegal if it's not legal. <laughs> what else would you call them? That's illegal. Don't feed fish sticks to a seagull. Just mail them to me. Fish sticks taste like candy. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that, Scotty? <laughs> I remember. <laughs> That's one thing about it. Thinking about fast enough. Now, maybe not on the road. But when you're out here, they're plenty fast. Cause who's going? I mean, really, how much do you ride? Forty-five and fifty out here. On this specific stuff, now. Nah. Yeah, on the off-road, you don't really ride that fast. Yeah, I mean, 20, 25, 30. On my on my dual sport, like, or on the dual sports, we generally get up to about like right here, about thirty-five to thirty-seven. That's yeah, usually on, what we run. On these roads like this, and then when you get in the rubber stuff, heck, you're not doing but ten mile an hour probably, you know. Yeah. And I feel just as comfortable doing this right now. Yeah. So, I mean, it feels good down through here. This thing, to me right now, is smooth. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's like butter right now. Smoother than greased out snot. Yep. Got like Is that a little hill like a mountain? tumbleweed. <laughs> like a Only little, like one, one branch. One of them uh, dung beetles. <laughs> I look like a dung beetle on that thing.
Yeah, we need to just find one of these random trails over here to take a ride on. You can see those jeeps are up there. You see the dust? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see the dust. That's a lot of dust. That ain't a motorcycle. That's a lot. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of waiting on a trail. Look at that hill climb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run out of road over there. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Good thing I've right. long enough. I can I can kind of switch my uh, switch my eyes over and pick a line fast. <laughs> I mean, so far I don't have a confidence problem yet on this. I may when I crash it, but right now I don't. <laughs> I may even want to lift my handlebars up an inch or two, Dad. Oh yeah. I get some risers. Get yeah, hangers on there. Yeah. No, this feels really good. Eighteen nine, Kim, watch this. Holy ah! cow. He climbed hey, a hill. boy! I barely seen you because I was just coming up over that hill. <laughs> he hill climbing. I tell you one thing, you get good at hill climbing, I think you'll be able to do it like it's nothing on that dual sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going up this one. Ooh, that's good. This is really fun to ride the soft side over here. Damn, whoa! Ring on. <laughs> Did you feel that when you hit the bottom, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> it ain't got quite the suspension. I do like just it like a little soft. bit soft out here because it does make it easier for these hill climbs. I don't slip out as much. I mean, I, I can't believe how this feels so good going through the gravel like it ain't a problem. That is really cool. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't feel as as. Um, it's not. It's not as squirrely as the uh, 300. I think uh -oh. it's almost just like that kind of slight slipperiness you get. Ooh, I like might have made a rut. Top. Yeah. And these tires are definitely more street oriented than the stock 300 L tires. Got to be the weight distribution of the size. Damn. Oh, shoot, man. The size. Damn. Oh, shoot, man. Damn! Oh, shoot, man! What happened? That rock went right by Dad's head. Wow, that's a big old rock. I don't know if we got it on video, but <laughs> where'd it go? That was, it from across the road, I guess. It, it was about there. that big, and it went right by his head. I mean, it, you're, it's not your fault, but it just <laughs> holy cow! It's a uh, big old rock. Yeah, that was a big one. <laughs> right by. I thought it was going to hit you in the damn head. I it would hope, have, I wouldn't have swerved. I honestly hope that it shows up on video so you can slow-mo it. I know. Holy I, cow. It's like, I hope it shows it on the video. I don't know how I had my head, because hey. I, I swerved to miss it. Yeah, well, you had to look at it, so surely we can, like, slow-mo it and stop it. You surely got to see it somewhere. Yeah, well, especially with how good. those are, like, wide angles that compared to the, the you, That even scared the crap out of me. <laughs> yeah. I saw that rock come up, and I was about to be like, Dad, damn, watch out. You yeah, must have yeah, just well, even, even the way you said that scared the crap out of me. I was like, what the hell happened? <laughs> yeah, you must have just looked back in time. Oh, yeah, I well, I saw Kevin go up there when I was like, damn, he got some air. But then right after I saw he got some air, I saw that rock flying across. Well, I mean, it's my fault for getting that close behind him when he went up the hill. Yeah, know? for a hill, during a hill climb, yeah. Yeah, that's my fault. You get roost, you get roost. Yeah, because yeah, Kevin, Kevin have, like, had barely just landed and you were already halfway up the hill. Yeah. Now, you don't want to get behind this CT when I'm going up those hills. You talk about roost. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, watch <laughs> out. I'm telling you. I'd take out a Mac truck with this thing. Maybe a bowl of mac and cheese. Mac, oh, yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with mac and cheese. Macadamia nut. 
I know one thing, these tires are skinny and they sink in the mud worse. <laughs> you get oh. those soft spots, you can feel it just sink in because they're so skinny. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I, I bet they'll be slippery there. as hell, too. <laughs> I've not noticed the slippery on it yet, but the just oh, sinking in. Uh, oh, it's I'm a little betting bit wet. it will be. I guarantee you, once it gets dry out here, it'll we'll probably slip around a little bit more. Yeah, I wonder. That's what I wonder. Even if the sun's catching like two to three of the times the amount of traction I usually do. Well, those uh, trust D sports throw the rocks. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd imagine with all the grip that these things have. Yeah, even you're throwing rocks pretty good. On <laughs> <laughs> I can't get sideways there. I mean, this thing was throwing rocks. A little bit, yeah. There was a roost. Yeah, rocks the size of sand. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was sand, Kevin. Yeah, just just sand granules. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's rocks are just tiny. Dang, did you see that animal rib cage? Uh, uh -uh. Scotty uh -uh. rode right by it. I mean, right in the middle of the road. Looks like a deer rib cage. In the back, in the, the backbone. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, see what I mean? How it sinks in the mud? Yeah. It's just That's like. That's what it, that was. I didn't realize. Yeah, it just sinks. You made a rut. Yeah. Yeah, you made a good rut. That's why I was like, oh, dang, it is muddy. <laughs> is that a road out through there? If it is, ain't much of one. Uh, Looks like a. Crevice oh, from water. Yeah. Crevasse. Yeah, crevasse. Oh, this is where it turns. Not for us, buddy. We yeah. make our own roads. Hell no, we don't. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Not over there, we don't. Oh, this is stickers out here. These little bushes are stickers. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They won't be in that. I just noticed that when I was hitting them, I was like, ew. We have a flat tire. There's a lot of people out today, just so so just be yeah. ready for a side by side to come. So I was watching, the make sure nobody's flying around that stupid corner. They came through and graded this. They definitely, at some point recently, have ran a truck through this. Look how smooth it is over there. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm catching a lot of traction since it's wet through here. I'm hitting my front brake a good bit and like it's gripping. Yeah, mine too. Yeah, this is a good spot. This is where that creek's at, Dad. Yeah, give me to try these things out. Oh, yeah, this would be a real good place for y'all to run. I'm out in the creek bed. Uh, Even here, the tires feel good already. It does, I'm telling what you. What the hell? I don't know why they feel so good. I mean, to be like so Honda, Honda knows what they're doing, that's for a fact. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. I don't feel like I'm hardly going over nothing. Well, I am now. But God, oh, God dang. But <laughs> yeah, I, think I, I, see, I think I see either a four-wheeler or a side-by-side -side up here with a flag on it or something. I know, it's either that or side by side with the yellow triangle, or somebody's wearing something really bright. No, no. Oh. Yeah, through through these areas right it here. It might Dad, be the farmer. Through these areas right here, where like where you're at, you don't feel nothing. It's the dude with the red hat. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a side by side. Oh, you're digging now. I dig it. Do you feel like you see how much control? <laughs> Until right there, I did. <laughs> Well, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, really, it does. It don't feel like, I mean, it's easy to have confidence on this. I feel even like when we go up those little parts like that where it's steep, it feels like it's got a lot of power. Right. On the, on the lower end. Like, it pull, it's pulling good. I think that's probably what it's meant to do with a trail bike. Yeah, it should. Oh, they're out here shooting guns. Oh, uh, she's peeing. Oh, to the shooting guns. <laughs> I 
Yeah, you're inserting it into the dirt pile. I'm, I'm telling you right now, compared to when I went on that on the 300, that did not feel like a commitment at all. No, I mean, it does feel, that's what I say, I don't know why, but it don't feel squirrely at all in this gravel. It's crazy. These tires, I'm impressed with them. And maybe Can we like see what Kevin, it's like when it's super dry? Yeah, maybe like Kevin said, when it's dry, will it be different? Like right now, all up this hill, a lot of pool. Even on, his, even on his, it's probably better right now. Oh, it's yeah. a lot better. Like I said, it's like two to three times better. It, it has been the whole way we've been going. Well, I still hadn't even gotten like better tires for my 300L, so I don't even have that as a comparison. Right. But I'm still running socks. Like, see, watch right here. I'll just hit my front brake. I, I didn't pull up my clutch when I saw. <laughs> but yeah, if I was on the dry and I pulled in my front brake that hard, my ass would have washed out. I heard gunshots over there. That must be those guys we just yeah, passed. Them. Sounds yeah, like they had, from way over there, though. They had a rifle and stuff set up down there. Dang. Hope they shoot into that dirt. <laughs> well, they had a big old dirt wall there to shoot yeah. into. Here's something go whiz by your ear. Look at that hole. Don't go in there. Yeah, especially on this bike. The whole bike could be in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get somebody to lift it out there. It's like dropping a hot wheel on a tin horn. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> and these tires are not even, I'm not even aired down. Yours is actually aired down comparatively. Mine yep. is aired up to stock PSI. Yeah, mine it's like feel... 30 in the back and 28 in the front or 26, I don't know what it is. Yeah, and mine feel is... awesome. <laughs> but I, they feel like they're aired down. They feel soft. Or feel like a lot of traction or something, you know. That's pretty wild. Oh, well, that's that's good because I was hoping they would feel good out here, and they do feel real good. I hear rocks once while I go up through that front fender because it's metal, yeah. and you hear them hear you hear them clink up through the fender. Yeah. Is this the one that heads out to the frog pond? No, that's well. That would be on the other side of the main road. Oh, okay. Up in there somewhere. like this stuff don't feel rough it's fine but you see the snow up there on the mountain yeah a little cooler and that's, up there and that's, the, and that's the side that still gets sun and it's still got snow it tells you how yeah. cold it is up there exactly that's the side that gets all the sun all day long and it's still snowy so you know the temperature is really low up there do that yeah if you get on the north side of some stuff you'll see some snow even when it even when it's um, warmer yeah I'm telling you, my butt would already be sore on my other seat. Oh, the 300, oh that 300 L seat, yeah. Yeah, I heard somebody talking about the seat on the this trail thing. trail back said, here, Kevin. Come back here. Um, I heard somebody talking about this thing and saying that, like, the the stock seat, you get, you know, it gets real bad after 45 minutes. But I That's haven't what noticed I heard, it but at I, all. No, I haven't either. Like, I mean, I feel a tiny, tiny amount, but, I mean, we've already been on for a while. I didn't even see that. I don't know if it goes anywhere. Probably just goes out here and turns around, but it looks like it goes somewhere. A little ways. Yeah, 100 yards and turn around. Well, maybe it goes a little further. <laughs> I can hear you handle banging, uh banging, banging, banging. <laughs> yeah, I opened it up and everything was all over the place. Oh, really? Yeah, I I didn't pack it. I, I should put something in there with it. Oh, you put something in there with it. Like, uh, I use those uh, rags and stuff, my microfibers. It's kind of around everything. Uh, and I should have put the I should have put the topper in there. Yeah, and that would help too. Kind of compresses everything together. But it also just stops any rattling from the top. Right. Everything hit, it, hitting, but... bouncing up and hitting the top, yeah. Well, this one goes further than I thought. This is a good little rep for you guys. I know, I like it. These oh, things just, feels like nothing. Yeah, these things are good on this, no problem. Just watch out for these rocks and the big sticks yeah. in the road. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's easy to put your foot down. Yeah. But it's lower than I'm used to, you know what I mean? So, like, right. I got to stick my foot out even further than usual. <laughs> And you feel like the tires are so small, you feel like you can really carve wherever you need to go. Yeah, you can kind of fit between everything. It's so, it's so little. Yeah. Evans, the trail master. What is that? A pond over there? Looks like it. Oh, we've never been here. I almost thought, uh -huh. holy crap, a jumping, and I saw water in it. We've never been here, because I would remember that. Oh, wait, that's not water. That's just mud. Is there water in it? No. Uh, it's, dry. it's a muddy sound of gun in there. I oh guarantee you that. Yep. You don't, you don't want to be in that, I don't think. You <laughs> You take you three weeks to clean your bike. Oh, dang it. Kevin's doing what I was going to do. Berm. I would have I ran into him. <laughs> not that bad. Right. He, God, he's wanting to rail a berm. Oh, uh, yeah, here he comes. I'm telling you, this thing is solid. It's crazy. I love it. I mean, I'm telling you, it almost seems like things don't feel like nothing. 